Hello, my name is George C. Bradley, and today's presentation is on testing assumptions for a one way multivariant analysis of variance using SPSS. Multivariant analysis of variant MANOVA is a multivariant extension of analysis of variance. As with ANOVA, the independent variables of a MANOVA are factors, and each factor has two or more levels. Unlike an ANOVA, MANOVA includes multi-dependent variables rather than a single dependent variable. Let's take a look at our data set. The name of our data set is Plastic. Dot SAV, and we have three dependent variables, and we have one factor or independent variable, and that is extrusion rate, and it's coded low is zero, and one is high, and it is online and it's free. Now, before we can conduct a MANOVA, we have to test for the assumptions, and there are three major assumptions. Let's take a look at our three major assumptions for our one way multivariate analysis of variance. Assumption one the dependent variables are multivariate normally distributed for each population with the different populations being defined by the levels of the factor. Let's take a look at assumption one. We will go to analyze descriptive statistics and we will go to explore we will reset here and we'll look at our three dependent variables and that will go in to the dependent list. We will look at our factor and that's our independent variable, extrusion rate, and we will put that there. Statistics, we'll get some descriptive information. And let's take a look at some outliers. Our plot, we will look at our histogram. We'll take out the stem and leaf. We will click on our normality plots of tests. And we'll hit continue there. Our options are OK. And we can look at the display box and we want to look at both the statistics and the plot. Let's take a look. Okay, we have our cases here. Our cases are even throughout our three dependent variables. And we can look at resistance we can look at first with low and high and we can see right here we're looking okay with the skewness and the kurtosis skewness our range is between negative one and positive one and it's documented that our kurtosis the range is between negative two and positive two and as we can see, we're okay with both of those. Okay, we're right on the cusp here with kurtosis, but we're okay. Okay, at the bottom here, kurtosis is probably a little high, so we're gonna look at another test. We can go here with our testing normalities and Sapiro Wilts. 
we can look here and as we saw above with our skewness and the kurtosis, our last, our last dependent variable and the group of high did not meet the normality test, did not meet the normality test. So we would have to look at that particular one. All of the others did meet, but we would have to know that we have here with our third dependent variable and our group dealing with the extrusion rate of high. We can see that all of the others, all of the others met the normality test because they are not significant. But right here we can see that one is significant. And we have our histograms and our normal Q plot. We have that general information of each group. And we can see here with our outliers that that information is okay. Now let's take a look at assumption two. The population variance and covariance among the dependent variables are the same across all levels of the factor and the or independent variable. Okay, let's take a look at assumption two. Let's go to general linear model, multivariate. Let's put our extrusion rate in our fixed factor and we'll put our other three in the dependent variable. We don't need our plot right now for the assumption. We will go here to option and we can check right here our homogeneity test. That's for the variance and it automatically will look at our covariance when we run our MANOVA. Let's go there. And we'll go right here to our box test of equality for covariance matrices. We can look down there and we can see that that is not significant. So that one is met for the covariance. Right here, we'll go to the Levine test of equality and we can see that our second that our first is met our second is not met and the third is met the Levine test of equality of variance so we only have one here that we would have to know that we did not meet With one group out of the six with normality and out of the three dependent variables, the second one lost that we did not meet. When we look at our multivariate test, we would probably take a look at Pelea's trace. If all were met, Wix Lambda would be our choice. But since we have a few problems, we would look at our Pelaeus trace and we would use that as our baseline to look at our multivariate test to see if it's significant. And assumption three, the scores on a variable for any one participant is independent from the scores on this 
variable for all other participants. Our test of independency there, that one was met. Are there any questions? If you have any questions, please email George C. Bradley59 at gmail.com. Thank you.